Well, I wanted to bring you out in the garden. This is first time I've been out of the house and it's late afternoon. Just don't feel good at all. Uh, I decided to come out and try to put something up for you. Uh, take a look at my corner. <laughs> that is at least 10 feet tall. That corn's looking good. Now that's dent corn. It's just hard to believe something that big came out, came out of a little dinky kernel of corn. Starting to silk a little bit. Um, it's hard to be hard for me to get in there and fertilize it. I planted them too close together. I believe they're two feet. I should have gone 30 inches or 36 so I could get in there with the cultivator and such. But uh, did not do it, so I'm paying for it now. So they may or may not make very well. I fertilized them once real good when they were about waist high. Maybe that's good enough. These are the spring survivor tomatoes. And uh, we'll see. I don't know whether they're going to do anything or not there. They're vining out. They're spreading out toward my peppers. But I just don't know if they're going to put out anything. Again, these are my zipper cream peas starting to make a few peas. I haven't picked any yet. But they got a few that are be ready in, I don't know, two or three days probably. A big stand of peas, about 50 feet long, uh, 20 feet wide, maybe 50 by 20, 50 by 25. But look at this grow arch. I mean, that is burpless cucumbers. They're already six feet tall, and they are. Well, that one's already up to the top. But uh, we're already getting some some cukes. Already got a few. Got a few more making in fact that one's that's laying on the ground i need to train him to go up so i just put it in there hopefully he'll stay the the vines are so they've got a you know they're real thorn not thorny but real rough sandpapery rough and if you can get one vine touching another vine they'll they'll kind of hold together like that but look at that that is the grow arch and that <laughs> that's about as pretty a grow arch crop uh, foliage as I have ever had looks good it will be uh, won't be long it'll cover that whole thing I tell you what if you're in the south Fall gardening. It's too late now probably, but think about it next year. Fall gardening. Here's some more burpless uh, there and there on that grow arch. These are yard long beans. I haven't trained them as well as I should. But uh, anyway, that's uh that's about it. We'll show you some more peppers. Some more peppers. Got lots and lots of peppers. We pick a lot of peppers. Come out here every other day or so and get a mess of peppers. I won't pick today because I just don't. I don't feel like eating nothing. I don't know. <coughs> Maybe I'll lose a damn <laughs> weight. Uh, oh man, there's a good one. That is a giant Marconi red. They will turn red. I like them green, but. Uh, called a giant Marconi and uh, man they make a good pepper really they're not hot but they uh, there's another one and I've had them shoot three or four inches longer than that than that anyway just want to show you if that grow arch is six feet tall that corn is at least ten some of it so we'll see if it makes and if it, if it doesn't it'll be my fault because it didn't because uh, I didn't get in there to fertilize it right. It's probably too late right now. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, that's uh, another look at the garden. I just come out here and thought I needed to show you something. It's been under the weather for the last two days. Just have not felt well at all. So here it is. I got enough gumption to come out here and do a little video. Man, that corn looks good. It all looks good.
Feels look good. I'm tickled. Maybe that'll make me feel better. All right, we are.